Seriously? But, Mr. Morris, I don't understand, sir. How could you only be telling me this now? <sighs> I'm afraid that there's nothing really I can do. I'm really facing a crisis. My hands are tied. But what about my film? Well, I'm afraid you have to come up with something on your own. Take it from me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Same goes for this film festival. Oh, oh. Hey, isn't that Xavier? So he's back in Fontaine now. Xavier! Oh, why, if it isn't the dear traveler and Paimon. I really didn't expect to bump into you here at this time. Well, I was doing just fine until I received some terrible news just now. The investor I was working with for my upcoming film has fallen upon some hard times and is no longer able to provide the promised amount of funds. Can't you just find a different investor? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia Film Festival, stipulating that I cannot work with any other investors until the festival is finished. The Fontanalia Film Festival? What's that? Oh, is this your first time participating in Fontaine's Fontanalia Film Festival? Then allow me to fill you in. <laughs> The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights, who went on a quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Arconigeria. Uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine, as well as its unique laws and trials. It's one of the most important festivals for this nation. That weird expression on your face. It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. Ah, oh, I was just trying to recall the exact description from the books. <laughs> In order to avoid any uh, unnecessary arguments over semantics, <laughs> I usually try to recite things straight from the source. Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good festival? And just like those of other nations, Fontaine will hold a plethora of events around this time each year. To commemorate the Loch Knights, people will imitate them by putting on special costumes, raising golden cups, and going door to door asking for pure water. But a few years ago, Lady Farina started to find the whole idea a little drab, and so decided to change the part about pure water to sweets. That really doesn't surprise Paimon at all. The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now, and it's quite popular among the kids. Every year, you can hear a bunch of them saying, trial or treat. Oh, that sounds pretty fun. But how does that connect back to the film festival you mentioned? Ah, yes. I, it appears I've strayed off topic. <laughs> I just got too excited after seeing you. Let me get back to the point. The Fontanalia Film Festival is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Now that film technology has matured as a medium, it's the perfect time to introduce more people to the art form. During this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, and the entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the Association. The what award? 
The Farina Award. You know, after the Hydro Archon. They coined it while Lady Farina was still in power, but uh, even though things have changed, no one has made any motion to update the name. Perhaps everyone still thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name. Even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer, Lady Farina is still Fontaine's superstar. Anyone with eyes can see the way she shines on the stage. Huh. All right. Guess the name does work pretty well when you put it that way. Oh, but who would have guessed there'd be an issue with the funding? How will I ever explain this to Miss Chiori? Not to say all the other actors who traveled all the way here from Inazuma. Chiori? Uh, sounds familiar. Where have we heard that name before? Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art direction, including the design of the actors' costumes and appearances. to describe her? Uh, well, she tends to be pretty direct and can be very forceful when it comes to dealing with people. The fashion world in Fontaine has dubbed her the Thundering Seamstress. Her remarkable designs have led many Fontanians to become very interested in Inazuma. Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Without her help, I don't think I would have been able to get such an international cast for the film. She really is a kind soul. Who are the actors from Inazuma? Do we know them? Why don't the two of you accompany me to the Aquabus station to welcome them? Judging from the time, the Aquabus should be arriving shortly. Chiori will be waiting to meet me there as well. The world holds dear is but a backdrop.
Miss Chiori? <sighs> Your talk with the investor sure went fast. The Aquabus hasn't even arrived yet. Oh? And who are they? Ah, uh, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Pleased to meet you. Likewise! We've heard the owner of Chioria Boutique is a skilled seamstress, so it's a real pleasure to finally meet you in person. Why, thank you. I strove to create an outfit that matched her high social station as the Demoiselle. So tell me, what happened? I can tell the conversation didn't go quite as expected. Ah, well, it's like this. Ugh. I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to say it. You did remind me that this investor was a little bit sketchy. Yes, there's no doubt about that. But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me twice as much as the others. And therein lies the problem. Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining such an excellent script, it's only natural that I would want to make the most of the film. The budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to front such a large amount of mora, so... Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help scrounge up some more together for you. Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. I'm afraid that any Mora we can scrounge together in a short amount of time won't even be able to cover the actor's fees. We need to move on. What's happened has already happened, and there's no changing it. But now's not the time to give up. What? You're saying that you have a plan? No, that's not what I mean. I'm simply saying I wouldn't give up just yet. The actors I recommended aren't just after Mora after all. Every day, right? I mean, you have to swim all that way just to go home. We are so thoughtful. But some Melusines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. This is our stop. Oh, we've arrived. But I haven't even finished chatting with Abel yet. I also enjoyed Aval's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Everything you described was so clear and detailed that we can't help but want to hear more. Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on this aqua bus, so I hope I'll have the chance to see you again. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. <sighs> Chiori, you sure have changed a lot. This is the first time we've seen you since you left Inazuma. I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such a rush when I left that I didn't even get to say goodbye. Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful trip here in Fontaine. It's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. So they are who you meant when you said you had actors coming from Inazuma? Oh? It's the Traveler and Paimon. Wow, what a coincidence! Ayaka and I were just talking about you on the way here. Are you also here for the film? We just ran into Xavier earlier and came over with him. <laughs> but I'm not an actress. Mr. Kamisato and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging along with Ayaka to have a good time together. Uh, 
about that, I mean, how was I supposed to contact you when I was making preparations for the film? I figured you were probably busy and I didn't want to disturb you. So I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I sought other actors to play the lead roles in the film. <laughs> I had been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here, but you still managed to surprise me first. Oh, so you all know each other already. <laughs> My, what a coincidence. What are the chances everyone could be brought together here like this? Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and catch up over a meal? I've already made a reservation. Huh? Did you reserve two spots for us, too? Yes, of course, of course. I'll be sure to tell the boss to serve a few more delicious dishes just to make sure there'll be enough food. Very well. Then please, kindly lead the way, Mr. Xavier. Wow! The buildings in Fontaine are so tall! Just look at how big they are! And there's the fountain that Aval mentioned earlier. It really is a magnificent sight. And look at that huge spinning sphere. Where does it get its power? <gasps> Wait a sec! Could it be one of those clockwork mecha we've heard so much about?